Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for January 3rd, 2021. First reading of 2021. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. So the house is finally empty, so I thought I would do a reading. I don't know what um, theme or anything. There we go. Oh, cool. The Fool in the Reverse. I didn't listen to a shuffle song. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was listening to a video um, about manifesting, though. Um, about um, if you want to manifest something, like capture the, the frequency of, like, how did he describe it? He put it so well. Um, you manifest whatever you're thinking or feeling right now. You're projecting it into the future. So if you think, I need money, you're going to keep needing money. That, that kind of idea. So, so you have to bring what you want in the future into the now or into... Um, you have to hold that frequency. So you have to feel what it is you want to manifest in the future. You have to feel it in the now. And that's what you send out to the universe or whatever you want to... Um, call it. It gives you more of what you're projecting. So this fool in the reverse. So that was your shuffle song. <laughs> I don't even remember who I was listening to. Okay, so fool in the reverse. Doing something that you can't come back. Um, you can't go back. It's like once you've flung yourself off that cliff, you can't climb back up a cliff. So Oh, this cord is going to drive me nuts, and I hope it's not making a bunch of noise. Um, yeah, this fool, he's trying to come back. He's trying to come back, and there's also a cat that's chewing on his ankle. Somebody flung themselves off a cliff, and now they're at the bottom, and they're trying to figure out how to get back up onto that stable land. That's how I'm seeing that. Someone's trying to stop them. It's funny, I just heard my cat meow. Oh, she... Hold on, I think she wants in. It's freezing cold out. Hold on. Now you're going to jump up on the table, aren't you? All right, sorry about that. I couldn't leave her out there. It's so cold. All right. You have the nine of coins in the reverse. Needing new friends. Feeling unmotivated. I feel like this has something to do with um, having a lack of discretion. You know, it feels like somebody wants to be single and it's like this guy is trying to return to this state in the upright, which is being very independent and being very single, being very abundant. Someone's trying to go back to that. Somebody, um, yeah, they weren't using their discretion. They were in a, a very foolhardy state of mind. Or that's what's happening right now. But it feels like somebody has already made the leap. They can't go back. This is also um, a Virgo card. So if that's the case, there's a there's a... Oh, it could also be somebody wants to go back to someone, but that person is no longer single. In the Y. The Two of Wands in the reverse. So the first thing I saw was this looks like an X. So this is an X. That's how I'm seeing this. This is also a surprise. This is the surprise card. 
also looks like a five in Roman numerals to me. I don't know what these little boxes are. Um, they have, they have like little, um, like the same amount of wands. It's all, I think it's only in the wands. Anyway, I have no idea what these little symbols mean. But yeah, first thing I saw is that that's an X. So somebody wants to go back to an X, but this X is no longer single. And someone's also feeling very unmotivated, maybe lacking money. Um, this is a needy, someone, someone needs their ex. Someone's going, what the heck did I do? How you feel. Yeah, you have um, the world in the upright. I feel like you're celebrating, you're in a new cycle. I feel like this came as a surprise to you as well, but it feels like you are, um, you could have been feeling this way as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the how. It feels like you might have dug really deep. You might have taken a lot of chances. There's no going back. Um, and you're on a new cycle. You've, you've turned a new page in your book or a new chapter in your book. This is literally called congratulations. You could be traveling, you could be in a new relationship, you could be in a new job. But it feels like there are a lot of things coming to you, like a lot of little surprises. It feels like this is unexpected. This could also mean that you're going to take some kind of leap that you can't, um, you can't come back from. And it could also be that you're taking yourself off the market and starting a whole new chapter in your life. But yeah, I do feel like there's an ex that's wishing they could um, literally climb back up some kind of cliff. But they, they don't have the money, they don't have the energy this person is in a really low place. And I feel like this could have been you before as well, but now you're feeling like you're, um, you're kind of on top of the world. You know, I, it, it kind of feels like that manifesting video I was talking about as well. It's like this surprise card feels a little bit like a magic wand, like you just, you know, wave your wand and you get what you want. Like maybe you're learning to do that this is feeling needy and not having enough money. Uh, this has come up in readings before where because of a lack of something, you had to learn how to... It's like you learned that you can manifest. And this feels like maybe little amounts of money, like you started noticing that you can make things happen. You started small. This is feeling like, you know, like why not? What is there? What do I have to lose? Maybe this is um, starting some kind of daily mantra, you know, where you say, I have whatever it is I want. And a reminder, it, this, you can't do this with people. Don't do this with people. Don't um, mess with people's free will. But you can do this with situations or jobs or abundance or things or hay or you know anything um but not people all right so you're feeling very abundant <clears throat> your advice is the page of swords and the upright surveillance activate or activity activity activating something watching something studying learning um, the spy card. Pay attention. Signing something. So this is being very watchful. Paying attention to detail. I want to see what this can't go back from. Bottom of the deck, 
two of coins in the reverse. Bad news. He's walking away from it. He could be giving it. So you could be getting some kind of message this week. Um, you could have a choice to make. This is juggling. It's also missing information sometimes. This could be you asking for some kind of info that you need. I also feel like this is you keeping your mind off any kind of um, bad news or things that you can't change. But this feels like waiting. It feels like waiting for news and keeping your mind on, this could be on your um, like activities during the day, like the things that you do, all of your duties. This could be at work. This could be at home. But it, it feels like um, keeping yourself occupied, like keeping your thoughts on a very um, like high vibration. This also feels like someone's free falling. Page of Wands in the upright. So that's some kind of good news. So we've got bad news, like within a choice or within some kind of juggling, like which thing should I do? And then you've got good news under the fool in the reverse. So it could be that once you, once you take some kind of leap that you're afraid to take, it's going to catapult, catapult you into a whole new, really sweet cycle in your life. Maybe traveling, maybe promotion, um, just expansion. Something really big and surprising. So you have to take some kind of chance. You have to take some kind of leap. This also feels like it's afraid of, um, like you feel like you don't have enough money to do it. Like you just have to do it even when you don't have what it takes or you don't have all the pieces. You don't have everything together. Two twos. Choices, choices. So taking a leap is going to bring you some kind of good news. Someone's bringing you some kind of good news. And you're going to have a choice. You might have to sign something. Somebody could be watching you. In the how. Nine of cups in the reverse. So this is called satisfaction in this in the reverse and this guy is pointing right at it with his sword so somebody and this is um, emotional satisfaction spiritual satisfaction what is this called the other way friend I think this is the first time I've pulled this card in this deck in this way So this looks like there's a, um, a friend bringing you news, something that's going to make you very happy. Someone else is watching this. Someone also has a choice behind them. Someone's made a choice. They're very happy. And they're telling someone else, making someone else very happy. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Successful passage. Happy at last. Relief. Surprise relief. Some kind of surprise message is coming to you and it's taking you into a whole new realm with the Six of Cups below it. Something coming from your past. 
something is over. Something from your past is over. Something's going to feel like, um, like, whew, like something is over and you feel so relieved. Someone is finally making some kind of choice or uh, making it, yeah, making some kind of decision. Maybe they didn't want to. They didn't want to jump off a certain cliff. Like once they did this, it's done. So they couldn't, they couldn't bring themselves to end something, to make some kind of ending decision because they didn't want to. Um, this is something very nostalgic. This is something from your past, like some kind of um, very aligned energy Six of Cups, somebody that you loved. It's right beside the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like this was a very painful ending, but this is bringing you relief. Something's bringing you relief. And oh, you have satisfaction right beside it. Sorry, that's the Eight of Cups. Did I say that was the Nine of Cups before? I can't count. All right. Queen of Swords in the reverse. So this is called the Bad Housekeeper when you translate Mauvais. Can't see it. Mauvais Menage. I, I translated that and it's Bad Housekeeper. So I always think this is the messy card now. Um, it's also the Widow in this position. It's letting go of something. You know, I'm also feeling like somebody, um, it feels like somebody, this could be you. And I, it feels like you're single. It feels like you're, you're single, you're in a new cycle. I feel like you have very fond memories of something in the past. But you took some kind of leap into something completely new. You had to because you were getting dragged down. You needed to, it's like um, giving yourself a shock to your system. And this is like a whole new, um, like a whole new, what's that called? You're looking at a whole new world, or you're looking at the world in a completely different way. It feels like you feel like you learned from your past. This feels like wisdom. It feels like emotional wisdom. This was the springboard, and this is landing on your feet. And this is um, having a, a huge emotional reservoir and relief that something is over. I really feel that that oh that just taking a big breath, like a deep, deep breath and letting it go. And and now it feels like, oh now what do I do? Like it's like it's like you don't want to make the wrong decision. So this is you doing research into what makes you happy. But there is some kind of message coming that is going to make you very, very happy. I feel like you've been waiting for it. So that you can make this leap into something very happy, maybe with um, a fire sign. You could be feeling... Um, you could be feeling safe to love again as well. Because this really does feel like you finally put something aside. You finally made a choice. So also could be that. <clears throat> finally making some kind of decision. And the Page of Swords is somebody that he knows what he's doing. Like he's making, he's making sure he's making the right decision. This is thinking it over for a long time. And finally making one. Finally making one. Moving on. Moving forward. Letting go of the past with... Um, with a soft heart. This is also letting go of the past. 
It's like something is over for you. Something is um, in the past. Something is dead to you. Because you flung yourself off of that cliff. Bottom of the deck. Six of swords in the upright. Yeah, healing. Healing journey, going near water. I feel like you have cried it out. You've cried out all of your bad choices or regretful choices. You know better now. This is someone who has a lot of experience. You know, it really feels like you're, you're turning something painful into something beautiful. Because I see happiness, relief, feeling a lot of love and nostalgia, um, really feeling un, um, like complete lack of judgment, judgmental kind of, I was going to say lack of judgment. Maybe, maybe you've learned not to judge and to feel instead because, yeah, judge, what's the noun for judgment? Um, or judgmentalism, or <laughs> um, it's useless. It really is. All it does is lower your vibration. So this feels like completely. Um, there's a. There's got to be a better word for that. But it's bringing things to you. It's it's bringing things to you. This is some kind of emotional wisdom. Being very careful with your words. Um, this also feels like you're sending any negative energy down the water or you're just releasing it. You're letting it go. This is also feeling like you're in some kind of energetic zone. The fool in reverse, free falling. So I feel like that is, um, oh, this is going to drive me crazy. Um, It's like good news keeps coming. Surprises keep coming. This feels like you're just getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Every time you see your own manifest manifestations happen, you get lighter. You, it, it feels like your faith in yourself gets deeper and your results get bigger. So you just keep learning. You keep flushing um, unwanted thoughts unneeded thoughts, unneeded words. It's like you're flushing them out of your system. This feels like you're, you're in some kind of state of not holding on to anything. Like this feels like it's like a, like you're learning to stay in a constant flow of, I really hate the word positive, but because it's been so misused, um, you're not spiritually bypassing. That's what, um, being over positive can, can be spiritual bypassing and, and not facing the things you need to face, which end up becoming blocks to what you want to manifest. So you have to process, and this feels like what this is. This is kind of a needy feeling. It's like you're processing what you need to process. You're getting good news, which just, what's that called? Um, it validates what you're doing. I'm going on and on and on. I'm sorry. I'm probably um, going way too deep into this. But that's what it looks like to me. And it's hard to describe what I'm seeing. Um, but you're, you're flinging yourself off some kind of proverbial cliff. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're turning lack into something. You're surprising yourself. You're seeing the results. You're feeling very emotionally wise, emotionally forgiving, lack of judgment, no judgment, completely non-judgmental. What is, is free and the word innocent just popped in my head, which doesn't go with that card at all. But this is all about relief. This is all about wisdom. It's like you've returned to some kind of innocence. This definitely feels innocent. Um, you're learning as you go. It's like you're letting things roll off your back. That's what that feels like. Letting past bad, um, and I don't like the word bad either. <laughs> Why are these words popping into my head? Um, letting 
past decisions, letting them roll off you down this river, letting them go. It's a really nice reading. I really love it. All right, you guys. Um, happy 2021. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.